Um, for over six decades, Johnson & Johnson has been recognizing outstanding talent within Canada's Masters of Health Administration programs. Every year, we're privileged to welcome the recipients of the Robert Wood Johnson Awards into our community of health leaders. I would like to thank Johnson & Johnson MedTech for their continued support. We are delighted to recognize some up and coming difference makers. Established in 1956, the Robert Wood Johnson Awards are presented to six students from Canadian universities offering a Master of Health Administration. Recipients are selected by their respective faculty for their individual achievements and promising contributions to health services management. It is vital that we recognize excellence and support our emerging leaders. Congratulations to this year's Robert Wood Johnson Awards recipients. These individuals are joining an exclusive group of health leaders, and we certainly look forward to following each of your careers. Congratulations to Dr. Saeed Alassi from Dalhousie University. Dr. Alassi is a cardiothoracic surgeon who has performed more than 2,500 open heart procedures and has more than 25 years of experience in health systems across the globe. He holds a master's and PhD degree in cardiothoracic surgery and a diploma in healthcare facilities management and has just completed his MHA from Dow. Dr. Lassie is an active member of the CCHL and is working towards his CHE designation. Congratulations, Dr. Lassie. Thank you so much, Canadian College of Health Leaders and Johnson & Johnson for the 2022 Robert Wood Johnson Award. Special thanks to the faculty at the School of Health Administration and Dalhousie for selecting me and for the enlightening journey. An enormous salute to all my colleagues who were as capable of winning this award. And of course, thank you to my extended family and friends who were always supporting. I'm extremely honored and humble to accept this award and join the distinguished past recipients. The journey was not easy, especially in this stage of my life. And I have questioned my abilities and motivation several times along the way, but I had to push through and hang on to my passion for learning. My message to all young healthcare leaders out there is to keep learning, hold on to your dreams and never give up. Thank you so much. Congratulations to Nicole Didiak from the University of British Columbia. Nicole has a passion for supporting healthcare providers along their unique educational journeys and for exploring how ongoing medical education and supportive networks ultimately impact patient care. Someone who values lifelong learning herself, Nicole is proud to be a part of the 2020-2022 cohort of UBC's Master of Health Administration program at the School of Population and Public Health. Congratulations, Nicole. Thank you to Johnson & Johnson MedTech for this award and for supporting those of us who wish to make positive impacts on our healthcare system. I think now more than ever, our system needs to support not only patients, but also the providers who dedicate their lives to help others. It's heartening to witness the passion and energy that both my professional and educational colleagues have around this work. And I'm honored to be mentioned among this group of inspiring healthcare leaders. A special thanks to the UBC School of Population and Public Health's Master of Health Administration program for creating a program that really faces the relevant issues in healthcare today. Thank you. Congratulations and felicitations to Stephanie Bumba from Université de Montréal. Stephanie Bumba has been a nurse clinician since 2019 and currently practices at the McGill University Health Center. She created the web series these Afro scientists from yesterday to today, which features Afro descendant personalities who left their mark on the health sciences industry. Her educational videos are available on her YouTube channel, Nurse Steffi TV, and her work has been highlighted in several national newspapers and media outlets. Félicitations, congratulations, Stephanie. Merci. Je suis très reconnaissante d'être l'une des récipiendaires du prix Robert Wood Johnson 2022. 
Je tiens à remercier le corps professoral et mes camarades du département de gestion, d'évaluation et de politique de santé de l'École de santé publique de l'Université de Montréal et également mes mentors du Centre universitaire de santé McGill, Dr. Sidorovich et Mme Régnaud. Merci maman et papa pour votre soutien indéfectible. Au fil de mon parcours scolaire, j'ai pu constater à quel point les gestionnaires jouent un rôle important dans l'amélioration de la performance des organisations de santé, et ce, tant au niveau budgétaire, de la qualité des services offerts et du sentiment d'appartenance des membres. Thank you to Johnson and Johnson Medical Devices Companies and the Canadian College of Health Leaders for celebrating the achievements of all the awardees. Congratulations to Jesse Alouk from the University of Alberta. Jesse, a proud member of Big Stone Cree Nation, was first introduced to the field of Indigenous health as part of a grade 11 career internship with Alberta Health Services. This inspired him to pursue a career in healthcare and encouraged him to train as a registered nurse and a public health practitioner. His primary interests are within the realm of Indigenous health and health leadership. Jesse is currently completing a practicum project with the government of British Columbia's Division of Indigenous Health and Reconciliation. Congratulations, Jesse. Tanse and hello. I would like to take this time to give a few big thank yous to the faculty and the University of Alberta School of Public Health for providing such an excellent education. Thank you especially to the health policy and management professors who nominated me for this award. I would also like to say a big thank you to my family for without you, I would not have had the emotional, physical, mental, spiritual, and financial support that allowed me to become the person I am today. And to all Canadian Indigenous students considering post-secondary studies, especially in the field of public health, my advice to you is to never give up. I didn't, and here I am accepting an award. Thank you. Félicitations à Elisabeth Tanguay from the University of Ottawa. Upon graduating from the MHA program at the University of Ottawa, Elizabeth was awarded the 2021 MHA Alumni Association Health Leadership Award for her outstanding presentation of the Healthcare Management Field Project. Elizabeth is now the Administrative Director of the Ottawa East Ontario Health Team, where she leads collaborative multi-sector efforts to improve the lives of citizens through a population health approach based on the quadruple aim framework. Félicitations and congratulations, Elizabeth. Thank you, Johnson & Johnson MedTech for presenting me with this distinguished recognition. I'm humbled to receive this award and will do my best to embody the ideals put forward by Robert Wood Johnson and honor his legacy. I also want to express my sincere appreciation to the MHA faculty of the Telfer School of Management at the University of Ottawa for selecting me for this prestigious award. Completing this MHA changed my life. It helped me acquire the necessary skills to be a transformative leader in integrated healthcare. Finally, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to my residency preceptor and mentor, Dr. Bernard Le Duc, President and Director General à l'Hôpital Montfort. Grâce à son soutien et son exemple de leadership empathique et dévoué, j'ai bénéficié des meilleures opportunités et des meilleurs conseils. Je lui en serai toujours reconnaissante. Merci. Congratulations to Emer Murphy from the University of Toronto. Emer began her healthcare journey studying radiography at the University College Dublin in Ireland before moving to Toronto and joining Mount Sinai Hospital. She is focused on improving patient experience and in 2020 received an award for outstanding patient care. Emer is a passionate person about improving coordination of care and completed a three month practicum at the Ontario Ministry of Health in 2021, where she was a member of the team responsible for the implementation and support of Ontario Health Teams. Congratulations, Emer. Thank you very much to the Canadian College of Health Leaders and Johnson & Johnson MedTech for this award. I'm honored to receive it. I'd also like to thank Tina Smith, our program director, and all of the faculty at IHPME for their support. Pursuing this program has been a wonderful experience and I've been constantly inspired by both my professors and classmates. I'm excited to apply my learnings towards building a better health system. Thank you again. <laughs> 